everything you've ever wanted to know about cyberpunk design. You probably see neon lights, skyscrapers, and apocalyptic settings when thinking of cyberpunk design. But it's not just correct, it's cyberpunk. Films, fashion, and design are all influenced by the subgenre of science fiction. Cyberpunk is sometimes called high-tech low-life a society of cutting-edge technology that people cannot afford to live in. Cyberpunk aesthetics has ebbed and flowed like with other design trends, but in the last several years has had a major revival. For Cyberpunk, 2020 is an essential year. In the period we live now we have put forth several unique cyberpunk novels and games. The 2019 Ridley Scott's Blade Runner, the classic cyberpunk 2020 game of the 1980s, and the famous Akira cyberpunk manga of 2019 were set. In 2020, the role-playing game Cyberpunk 2077 was widely anticipated. Today's cyberpunk is included in modern graphic design, modes, and movies. Cyberpunk's Short History Electronics were more significant in contemporary life in the post-WW2 globe. Naturally, people began to look to the future and think about a world in which robotics were more sophisticated. This prompted a generation of science fi writers, like Philip. K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, to anticipate the future. Any essential work of cyberpunk art could not be mentioned, but we will walk you through a quick summary of its beginnings and evolution over the decades to better appreciate the importance of cyberpunk in modern design. 1968 Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick It seems that Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep was the first ever cyberpunk literary work ever produced to be a trigger for the subgenre of SNF cyberpunk. 1984 The Neuromancer of William Gibson Neuronovelist is one of the most renowned cyberpunk fiction pieces ever created by William Gibson. Neuromancer also had a great effect on The Matrix, a blacksmith of 1999, to coincide with the phrase cyberspace. Cyberpoint influenced bookcase design is now finding a rhythm with vivid colors and airbrushing methods. Snatcher in 1988. Akira's artwork also influenced the work of Kanomi's Snatcher video game. Snatcher is an adventure game based on a graphic design, drawing a reference both from anime and the traditional storyline of cyberpunk. Mon 2000 magazine from 1980s to 1990s. In the 80s and 1990s, Mondo 2000 was a California-based cyberculture journal. He dealt with cyberpunk issues like virtual truth and played an important role for Wired magazine, subsequently created. 3D design and fun typography, especially in the 1990s, grew increasingly experimental and untraditional. Cyberpunk Rose is a tendency. Well, Cyberpunk Pink, of course, is the first stop. It's an iconic color, and lately, it was unbelievably trendy. Let's look at some typical cases, therefore. In practice, PWNK Digital will show if you still can't see how pink we're talking about. Your website represents a confluence of cyberpunk and cyberpunk design. The two trends coexist nicely and offer a real masterpiece for readers. Although the rose color prevails, it doesn't overpower onlookers. It is so natural that it feels like without this unbelievable tone, this design would not function. Such domination is of course very difficult to adapt to any demand, not to say anything of its tough handling. A unique case in point is PWNK. Cyberpunk Pink frequently serves a secondary function in online design or a complementary one. It only adds aesthetics sometimes while it provides inconspicuous vocals in other situations, witness the following two examples. Galaxy Explosion Blast Galaxy is in a traditional arcade design. You can even detect vibrations since the 90s. 
Cyberpunk Pink fits into this wonderfully. It beautifully adds to the beautiful lard neon and ends with elements of the overall blue aesthetics. Interior Design Elements of the Cyberpunk The aesthetic of Cyberpoints may be divided into three primary types, minimalistic, chaotic, and retrospective. Before you tell me that there are more types, examine at least some combination of most situations in every cyberpunk game or movie. It is also commonly observed to blend with parts of Asian or even ancient Egyptian civilization. You might also call it a pan-cultural appearance. Electronics, glossy, matte hues with a spacious palette, repeating geometric designs, metal, glass, atmospheric lighting, and automation are common features in all three of these styles. A lot of environmental illumination and home automation. These aspects appear to be so commonly utilized, yet in the design kinds, they are really diverse. Let's look at every type in actual people's houses and a couple of real-life instances. The Cyberpunk Room of Retrospect Retrofuturism is what people were promised they will be the future before 1970. You're well acquainted with laser guns, automobiles, and the moon. From the 1920s Art Deco to the 1930s Buck Rogers up to the 1960s Lost in Space, the design lines are everywhere. The popular cultural design of those days is often highlighted. Though technology did, I assume that they felt humans won't alter much. In films like the Japanese K-20, Legend of the Mask in a 1949 alternative, you discover filmic instances of this style. Or the 1998 film Dark City, which might be named Mano Metropolis Cross. Look at games like Gatling Gears or the massive Bioshock and Fallout series. All these media have a particular film noir vibe and technology rebellion. There is always an average person who uses over-average talent and skills to fight the machine of business or government. Devices with some electrical and electronic controls are usually mechanical in origin but they prefer to avoid the microcontroller, which is the core of all computers. Fallout, of course, is the exception. This is a planet that competes or even exceeds our world in terms of nuclear and electronic technologies. But Tomorrowland is still feeling all about it. Why not start with a fresh batch of Nuka-Cola if you're heading to this comfortable vault tech feel? You're going to require the pep. Literally, there are a few guides on how to create yourself from the recipe to the labeling of the bottles. This video tells you how Nuka-Cola and Quantum are both classic. After all of that, you have to have a seat and simply have a few quaffs. It may truly be taken from you by this DIY thing. Of course, it would be a lot smarter to sit on some brilliant new Nuka-Cola and Sunset Sursaparilla bottle cap shaped bar stuff. Thankfully, you can buy a previously constructed bottle cap bar stool. You only need to get a bit dressed. You will need a place to hold this delicious and wonderful thing after that's done. Watch out for a small cooler Coca-Cola which appears like old-fashioned cellars. Use the abilities to produce your stools and relabel them as your personal Nuka-Cola distributor. Or discover and treat it in the same way if you have money, a full-form vintages soda bottle seller. Tor Emonson accomplished it. It's not finished, but see this crazy start to a game room with the theme fallout. Maker Trey Hill has carried out some significant woodwork and planning. Maybe it took a long time but he maintains it was just approximately $400. He suggests that at some time it will be mechanized. Hope that the control is adjacent to this excellent touch screen station. See the video for its moving and closing. They also do something intriguing, Bioshock inspired. The Bioshock New Year's Eve parties room was built by Kim, who is from Tales of a Girl Gamers blog. Much of it is made of temporary materials such as cartons, plastic sheets, and paper. However, concepts may be readily replicated in permanent plating, 
polycarbonate sheets, and glass. A excellent first-time soldering project is the creative re-soldering of LED light strands to illuminate the structures. You might do that. What if you built an aquarium Bioshock? The narrative has a strong submarine subject. You might create a master promoter Tim Baker for a Bioshock super fan using your newly found molding talents and your fantastic creativity. You may fill it with mineral oil for Bioshock PC case mod since you're all Cyber L33T. Imagine this unit's gameplay. The focus of your new thematic cyberpunk combat station might be easy. As we reach the top, how do we follow the two costumes and modify them into a big daddy and little sister syringe that are free to create your own? Now take those ideas and bring your newly learned electronic abilities to the next level, or even a Raspberry Pi. Imagine all lighting up using OpenHAB to a Raspberry Pi. Then you may turn out the lights and disappear from your smartphone to rapture with only one tap. The boundary is your ingenuity. Well, that's your pocketbook. Modern Design Cyberpunk After the turn of the millennium cyberpunk became a bit kitsch in the world of design, but the year 2020 marks a huge cyberpunk resurgence. The aesthetic returns in a trendy and significant way. Elon Musk just unveiled his Cybertruck, the Keanu Reeves Matrix actor has a leading role in the Cyberpunk 2077 video spiel and the green neon appears all over your look. As a design movement, Cyberpunk does not necessarily have to incorporate traditional tropics like urban dystopias and flying vehicles. Current designers use cyberculture beliefs to shape their work nowadays. Unconventional graphical design layouts, improved digital typography, and daring color palettes are currently highly popular, offering a fascinating and a bit disturbing view of the future. Let's look at a few modern artists working with cyberpunk inspirations. Digitally improved typeface of Braulio Amato. Cyberpunk influences are already seen everywhere in modern graphic design. Look for high contrast, unusual layouts, and a fun, improved digital font that fails to comply with established standards. No apparent framework follows Braulio's designs for posters. Complemented with a gritty texture, contrasting neons are a wonderful representation of our nostalgic futurism. Family scenes from A3, Ruthless Dystopian. A3 brings to their logo designs Thirst Kitchen the dark shrillness of a dystopian future and iconic cyberpunk neons. This picture makes you feel as if you are an escaped fugitive in the Blade Runner of Ridley Scott. The Usage of Neons by Hui Yian Wang In this way, Hui Yian Wang makes perfect sense to bring her recognizable future orientation graphic design and neons to Wired in October 2018. Wired's journal focuses on the impact of emerging technology on culture, the economy, and politics. Vinny Arts Akira-esque imagery. This artwork of the 18-year-old megastar by Billy Eels by Vinny Art is a great cyberpunk reimagine. Billy's slime green roots trademark is essentially punk and dries Van Noten is even inspirational in the fall of 2020. The trend cycle never stops. The futuristic impact of John Baya tools. With the help of glitch effects, a disturbing futuristic vibe is a fantastic approach to add profundity and dimension to any design. The logo designs of John Biotul also employ the distinctive neons of cyberpunk.